Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to today's lesson. Today, as per what one of the students uh, asked us to do, I would want us to start right away with this concept of network. Network, network planning and analysis. Network planning and analysis. And for those of you who happen to be having our revision kits, if you have our revision kit, this revision kit like that, you simply go to page number 203. Page number 203. Page number 203. If you don't have it, there's no cause for alarm. So I would want us first of all to learn how to draw network problems. And then number two, how to get project durations. Project durations. And I would want us to use this particular question here. ABC Limited, ABC Limited, ABC Limited has been awarded a contract for renovating the office block of XYZ Limited. The chief architect of ABC Limited has provided the following information relating to their contract. So you can see the activities, you can see the normal time, you can see, see the manpower requirements. So they want us to draw a network diagram for the above project. So is there some, somebody who can draw this network for us? Is there somebody who has been able to watch videos all the way up to this topic number nine? Please unmute them. I would want to get some feedback. Yes, Mr. George, have you been able to watch now all videos, especially for network analysis? No, people that are, I've had very little time. Eh? I started going through them today. Oh, today, okay. How about Simon? Has Simon gotten some time to go through these uh, videos, uh, especially videos on network analysis? Perhaps Simon has a challenge of hearing me on the other side. If that is the case, please raise up your hand somewhere. We'll be able to sort you out. How about Joseph Kiarie? Have you gotten some time of viewing these videos? Okay. Okay. It's important, especially over Easter, now that uh, most of us are uh, uh, in our isolation, uh, in good quote, uh, in quotes, I mean, places, take time to watch all those videos if possible. How about Madam Susan? Have you been able to watch as many videos as possible? Madam Susan, are you able to hear me? Unmute Susan. Oh, is she unmute? No, no, no. That's okay. Susan, are you able to hear us? No problem. Okay, let's continue. Now, if you... Right, so, 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 I'm, I'm facing problems. Eh? Oh, you're facing no, problems? It's blinking. I can't see it clearly. Oh, okay. Just blinking a lot. Uh, am I, have I become too... Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps that can come here, but now you have to push. Are you able to see me, George, now? No, still playing in territory. It's not clear. It's not clear. No. No, George, we have come from uh, far with George. When George says that, I know he means it. Thanks, territory. Is it okay? Still, see, try again. I can't see you. You're just on off, on off. And maybe a network on my, on my side. Eh? Or a network from your side. How about the others? Blank, even on my side. Okay. You're not able to see me totally. I'm now back. You're back. I can see you, sir. Okay. Uh, that is uh, Joseph, eh? Uh, yeah. no, uh, you're back. So what it's we back. will do, 
because the person normally who does this thing for us is not around, I would want us really to bear with the situation today. I hope you are able to see the uh, my board. Let's point the camera down to the board. If you're able to see the board, that is the most important thing for now. Are you able to see that question? Able to see you struggling to get it from my side. It's on off, on off. <laughs> Let's try to get uh, Dixon. Could it be lighting or something? It's internet from their side because from my side I'm seeing. You are seeing, eh? <laughs> I'm using a phone. We're using a phone. <laughs> right. Let me let me try a phone. I'm using a, a laptop. Okay. Wombari. Hello. They're not seeing me totally. Organized with the, the young man, they're not able to see me totally. Most of them. Oh, the, it's it's the internet from our side, gentlemen. Because even Dixon from wherever he is, he's able to see me very well. Let me try our phone, Petari. Maybe yes, yes. This, this laptop has, has a problem. Let me try our phone. Okay, okay. So as he tries that, I would want to take this opportunity to show you how to draw a project network. So you can see here they have given us activities, right? And then they have given us no more time. Drawing a project network is a very simple thing. Look at what I will do to be able to draw this project network. So we have here activity, activity one, two. An activity has got two things here. We have what we call the start event for this activity. And then we have the finishing event like that. So we have activity one, activity A, I mean, runs from one to two. So I'll have one and two here being connected like that. That's activity A. From there, I'll go ahead and draw activity what here? B. Activity B is one to three. So I don't have, in this case here, a third. I don't have a third node, so I have to introduce a third node here. So we have one to three. One to three. From there, we have one to four, one to four. I can either decide to put it here, pull it from one to four. Let me do it here. So one to four. After that, we have two to five. So now we have to introduce two to five. So we have two, five, two, five. After two, five, we have three, five. So three, five, three and five already they exist. So we'll simply come and join them like that. 3, 5. From 3, 5, we have now 4 to 6. So I need to introduce a sixth node. So 4 to 6, like that. And then we have 5 to 7. So 5 to 7, there is no seventh node here. We have to introduce it somewhere here. Call it 7. So 5 to 7, like that. And then we have 3 to 6. So I have 3, I have 6. Mine should only be to join them three to six like that and then we have six to what year seven six to seven you join like that so from there what do we have now we'll come and uh, partition these nodes like that we partition them remember all lines here must have an arrow must have an arrow like that so we have uh, activity one two this is a we have activity one, three, that is B. We have activity one, four, that is C. We have two, five, two, five is D. We have three, five, three, five is E. We have a four, six, four, six is F. So we have four, six here, this is F. And then we have five, seven, five, seven is G. 5, 7 is G, and then we have 3, 6. 3, 6 is the H. And then we have a 6, 7, which is what here? I. So the next thing that I need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to come and put the normal time. Remember here, we normally work with normal time. Fortunately, they have given us a normal time, so I should be just to copy figures. A is 1. 
we have b is 3 we have c is 3 we have d d is 1 we have e e is 2 we have f f is 5 we have g g is 3 we have a h h is 4 then we have a i which is what here which is 2 so and that is the end of that drawing the end of that drawing i would want to hear any response any question from my great students here please unmute all of them unmute so I've finished drawing. I would want first of all to hear from you if you have any question before I continue. Very good. Silence means they are comfortable. Was George able, able to see me at the end of the day? He'll get back to us. So after drawing, the next thing will be for us to fill these event times inside uh, my diagram here. So when I'm filling the event times, remember, I have this to always think about. We have what we call the earliest start. We have the latest start. We have earliest finish. We have the latest what year? Finish. This ES and the EF, earliest start and the earliest finish, these are normally known as earliest event times. I hope you're taking your notes. These are known as earliest event times and for us to be able to get these earliest event times ladies and gentlemen we normally use what we call the forward pass we normally use the forward pass so forward pass will be used to help us get these figures that you are seeing here which are on top and while you are making use of the forward pass the rule is very easy you simply add the figures you add the figures so forward pass you're moving forward by adding so of course you must start from zero so next here zero plus one that gives us one next we have zero plus three that gives us three next we have zero plus three again which gives us three like that so come to this one here in forward pass you should be able to see the number of arrows so how many arrows are you able to see coming here the roads coming to this node there are two of them. We have D. D is one. We have a road E, which will take me two days. So what I need to do is to get the accumulative time. So the first one, root D, will be one plus one, which gives me two. And then we have root E, which will be three plus two, which gives me five. And the forward pass, the one that always prevails, is the higher. Whenever I've got multiple routes going into a particular event, into a particular node, the higher will always prevail. So you put five there. You put five there. Now come to a node like this one. Here I can see again two roads. Two roads. I have a H and I have F. So H will be three plus four, which gives me seven. And then we have F, which is three plus five, which gives me eight. So the higher always will prevail. So you put eight there. And then we have the last one here, which is five plus three, which is eight. And then we have I, 8 plus 2 is what here is 10. So in this case here, the last one, 10 will prevail there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, come and put 10 again here. Now this time around, you're getting these lower parameters, LS and LF. They're the latest, latest start, latest finish. Latest, we normally use what we call backward pass. Latest, we normally use the backward pass. So backward, you are subtracting. You start here from the last node. You subtract moving backwards. So like now here, moving backwards, I can see 10 minus 2 giving me 8. Here, backwards, I can see 10 minus 3 giving me 7. When you come to this, you have to be quite careful how many roads are moving uh, back here. There are two roads which can take us back to this node. I can see road E. I can see road H. Not a problem at all. What I'll do is to get the accumulative difference for both of them. So 7 minus 2 gives me 5. And then we have 8 minus 4 giving me 4. So in backward pass, it is always the lower that will prevail. 
Backward pass and like forward pass where the higher prevails, backward pass is always the lower. So you come and put four there. So from there we have this, only one root, no comparison. So seven minus one, that gives me what here? Six. Eight minus five, that gives me what here? Three. So come here, so six minus one, that gives me five. Four minus three, that gives me one. Three minus three, that gives me zero. So of course it's backward pass, the lower will prevail. The lower prevails like that. So ladies and gentlemen, I've been able to get my activity timings, activity times. So now I need to identify what we call critical activities. Critical activities are those important activities of a project network that we can't afford to remove our eyes from. Our eyes must always be fixed on the critical activities. So how do I get to know critical activities? These are those activities that cannot be postponed. Those activities that don't have any uh, float, which you can delay them with. So how do I identify them? Rule number one. For us to call you critical, the timing is 0033. That uniformity has to be there. So like now, A can't be critical because I can see some irregularity here, 1, 6. But C is a potential critical activity. But now I have to use the secondary condition. The secondary condition tells me that if I take the head minus the tail, the head minus the tail, that gives me 3. If that answer that I'm getting coincides with my duration of C, then C is critical and has to be marked like that. So it is a head minus the tail. Three minus zero gives me three. And three for sure happens to be the duration of C. So C happens to be critical. How about this, was, this one This one here was quite a straightforward one. If you look at this 3388 three, coincidence, that is very good for us. Uniformity, very good. Eight minus three, I'm getting five. And the five happens to be the duration of this, meaning that there is no time to dilly that. And of course, I as well will be what here? Critical. So ladies and gentlemen, what we are telling our examiner is that the project duration, project duration is 10 days, 10 days, project duration is 10 days under the CPA. CPA is a critical path activity. The CPA, we have C, we have F, and what here? And I, C, F, and I, C, F, and I. And that now marks the end of that particular what here? First question, where they wanted us to give them the network diagram for the project above. Please unmute them so that they can ask questions. Anyone with a question? <laughs> 